basically what I created was a new way to detect pancreatic, ovarian, and lung cancer that costs three cents and takes five minutes to run. This makes it 168 times faster, over 26,000 times less expensive, and over 400 times more sensitive than our current methods of detection. I honestly just used Google and Wikipedia to find basically all the information uh, that I needed to do this task, like to do like this research. And then also I was going through like this teenage rebellious streak where like my parents were like, you can't do cancer research, you're 13 or 14. And I'm like, I'm going to go do research on cancer and just try and stop me. A lot of people like like calling me a genius. I don't really agree with that at all. I, I kind of view myself as some like clumsy teenager who bumbles around the lab and occasionally gets lucky. I did have a kind of like makeshift, like sketchy lab in my basement, but couldn't really do cancer research there. So then I had to email about uh, 200 professors at Johns Hopkins University and the National Institutes of Health asking if I could work in their lab. The reason I kind of felt that I could like get into these labs was I was just like, this is a great idea. Of course it's great work. Of course I'll get into a lab. I really think that one of the most important things that uh, my generation needs is first off an internet connection. Right now, 85% of the world's population doesn't have access to the internet and that is an absolute travesty. We're wasting so much human potential. And uh, so first off, I think that we really need to lift those people out of knowledge poverty, as I call it. We need open access to information when we're on the internet. I mean, basically 90% of all scientific articles are locked behind paywalls and are really inaccessible to the general population. So I really feel as if when we do free up information, when anyone is able to innovate, then I think that's when we're truly going to have these big breakthroughs that we've been needing. So I've been working on these things called nanorobots, uh, and these are essentially really small robots that I program, and they'll like learn how to treat your cancer, and they can like genetically engineer your cells and do all these cool things. Also, I'm working on uh, little paper sensors the size of a, like the size of a postage stamp that can detect a bunch of different contaminants. Twenty actually for less than one one thousandth of a penny. It can pick out those very small traces, and then we're able to exactly trace where these contaminants are coming from and hold those polluters accountable. So we did that in Tanzania and we're able to hold over 100 polluters accountable.